Hey people, and welcome back to Nostalgic Sundays. This week we're back on the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, and I'm playing Pac-Mania. Yes, I could have played the original Pac-Man, but I had this game on the Mega Drive and it was kind of, I remember having fun with it, so of course it's just like Pac-Man, but in sort of more 3D. So you, basically the same idea. You have different levels. You get the you gotta get all the small little pill things to complete the level, and the bigger ones make the ghosts turn into blue ghosts, which you can gobble up for a short amount of time. So just gonna play some Pac Mania. I actually quite like the music. I don't I don't know if that's just me, but it brings back some memories. I've got to say. I'm gonna have to eat one of these things in a sec. They're all ganging up on me. One thing that does happen from level to level, the, the layout changes and the amount of ghosts changes. Also on, if you change the difficulty, the ghosts run faster. I tried playing on hard, I couldn't even complete this first level. Because the ghosts go so fast, it's just like impossible to get away from them. So, we're not doing too bad so far. 10 gay points. Hopefully we don't get blocked in here. Nope. Good, good, good. Oh. Follow this pink one round. Here we go. Try and gobble up some more pellet things. Where are they all? Down this corner. Right. Let's get this one. Is this the final few? Yeah, there we have it. Level 1 complete. Hell yeah. Next world. Oh yes, look at this. See? Different music, different arena. Still Pac-Man. Still the same stuff. Ooh, there's, uh, there's a few more ghosts as well. Okay, let's see if we can... Shall I get that fruit? Oh, I'm out of time. The pellets up and really near the ghost base in the middle here are really much harder to get. Especially once you've just sent a load back to the start. Right, you lot. I'm going to be eating you. And I'm going to be getting the ones near the middle. Good, good, good. Oh. Better get out of here before they all gang up on me. 6k points. You actually get extra lives as well if you get a certain amount of points. Don't know how many points you need. Okay, well, oh, gonna have to get the power up again. I think we're finished on the bottom half for this map. I love this music. Probably just me. So I think. We're almost done with this level. I think it's just this top left corner. Oh no, maybe on the other... I need to go to the other side as well. Yeah, looking I have to go to the other side. So, let's not get killed. Here we go. Last few. Yeah, there we have it. Level complete. And there's another one, just to change colours. Okay, let's see if we can repeat our success. Again. Oh, extra ghost this time as well. We've got the green ghost with the, like, confused eyes. Oh. Pinky's trying to cut us off here. Here comes the red. Oh, God. Oh, we're in trouble. We're going to have to get a power up. See, they may go slower on easy mode, but they sure can gang up and let's see if we can get some points there. Oh yeah, 800, come on! 1600, 3200, oh yes! Absolute carnage. Here we go. Fruit target. I haven't got time to get these fruit targets most of the time. Get you, and you, and you as well. And let's get the fruit. Oh, 
despawned. Could have done it with a bit of lemon action in the middle there. Okay, we're finishing this corner. Let's go over here. The red one's always in this bottom left, it seems. Oh. Let's get the power up. There we go. Another lemon, okay. Let's get that. Just gotta go up the top now. Almost done here. One more power up as well. That should help us clear the level. Pac-Man, yeah. Ooh. Two more pellets. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We can do one more level and end the video. What have we got now? Sort of a pyramid level. New music yet again. I know this game was made by Tengen, which is quite weird as well. Because Tengen made like all these odd NES game cartridges, so I'm not sure if this was even an official game for the Sega Mega Drive, but... Tengen were a really weird company like that, releasing unofficial games. Okay, oh. Got this kind of joined up bit here that this time we have to collect pallets and kind of new. What's that green thing do? Special item. Oh god. The purple one is really good at cutting me up. But it's gonna get eaten. Ha ha ha. And so is this green one. Alright, you two. <laughs> You're gonna get eaten again. Get out of here. Alright, oh yes, 76.50, get in. It's quite a lot of points. We still haven't got enough points to get a level up yet. You get more points if you plan hard to... Oh, we finished that quickly anyway. <laughs> Gonna end it here for today then. So this is a nostalgic look at back at Pac-Mania by Tengen for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending where you're from. So, I'll be back next week with a new nostalgic look, and I will see you next week. I'm going to die here soon. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be back next Sunday with a nostalgic look at another game. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.